Hey everyone, it's Dion with the Turquoise Cyrus. Welcome to August 17th, Friday Night Live. I'm doing something a little bit different here tonight. So um, not only am I here on Facebook, I'm also right here on Instagram doing a live. So um, for those of you popping on here, um, say hello. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different for me. I'm hoping that everybody can kind of be kind. I've heard that Instagram gets a little bit on the wonky side. So if I look down and go, not so much. Um, you know what I'm doing. So hey, hey guys, welcome. I am back. Um, lots happened this week. Kids went back to school. We got home from vacation. Um, I got a fabulous shipment of paintbrushes in the mail. Um, we're going to talk to you a little bit about these tonight. Q and I, um, I have a fancy new wardrobe behind me. Um, so I'm going to talk to you and show you some colors. I'm actually going to use a DIY color that I have yet to use. It's the very first time. Um, so we're going to be painting tonight. I have a fun little teaser that I want to tell you about, something that's going to happen next week. Um, and then, like I said, um, Q and I are going to um, really be using these brushes for the very first time. Uh, Josie with Paint Pixie has sent us each, all of these new brushes. They have broadened their inventory and their opportunities. Um, so they now actually have eight different styles of paint brushes. So anyway, we're going to play with that here in just a few minutes. When we get queued up here, I'll tell you a little bit more about that. I did not draw a name. I'm going to tell you right now, last Friday, I had Debbie Beard coming in on the train. Uh, Debbie from Debbie's Design Diary. I don't know if you know, she follow her on YouTube. She is a genius on video and with DIY paint. Um, thank you guys for all the hearts. You're making me feel special already. Um, she has, uh, anyway, she came in on the train when we were in Dana Point. Uh, Matt and I picked her up and then we brought her back to our house and we did a little interview. If you guys missed that, um, you want to go back and watch last Friday uh, because we asked Debbie some you know, maybe some questions she hasn't really answered before. So that was a really fun interview. Um, hi there, hi there, hi there, you guys. This may be weird. I'm gonna remind you for those that are popping on, I have another device right below here and I'm on Instagram Live as well. So if it's easier for you to watch me on Instagram, I'm giving you another option. Um, everybody's waving, saying hi down here on Instagram. I'm gonna try to go back and forth. If it's weird, I'm just gonna push stop. But just bear with me while I try to do something new. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Um, Susan says no sound, is it just her? But everybody else is saying hello. So if you're not hearing me, please say something. Um, like I said, kids went back to school today. I have um, something that I wanna share really quickly before I get Miss Q up here. Um, I'm just gonna kinda tease cause I, I can't say too much. But um, are you guys familiar with who Crystal and Huff is with um, Re Emporium out of Kansas City. Um, I get to meet her on Thursday, and so I'm super excited. She, okay, thanks you, Miss Posey, I love you. Um, so she's gonna be in town, and we are doing a collaboration with Reclaimed Warehouse. So Miss Tabitha Clark, who is the owner of Reclaimed Warehouse, um, she and Chrysalyn are getting together, and they're gonna do a collaboration. And they got me in on, on board. Now, I can't tell you too much about it, but on Thursday, you guys, I will give you more information. But please, please, um, I'm pretty stoked about it. And I'll have more information for you, hopefully, by Monday or Tuesday. But I personally, on like a gaga level, I'm just so excited to meet Chrysalyn. She and her husband have built this amazing business in the Kansas City area. And I hope to someday go like in the next year or so. Um, but yes, they're coming to Reclaim Warehouse, and this girl gets to meet them. So if you guys are friends with Chris Lim, um, Refined by Design says, this is so bad. Sweetheart, what? What's the deal? Little delayed with sound on Instagram. Okay, thank you for that. This is my first time. Um, so I'm going to pull up Miss Q here in a minute, and um, I have five colors that I'm going to put on here. And I saw Miss Kathy saying, yes, we have another arm wall, which is so much. Um, she has one of my other ones. Okay. I'm glad y'all can hear me. Okay. Anyway, we're just going to see how this plays out. You guys, like I said, Instagram is a little bit slow, a little bit delayed. Um, 
Awesome. Thanks, Barbara. I'm so glad that you all are all here tonight. Um, I'm going to show you some IOD stamps. I'm going to show you five different colors of DIY, one of which I've never used before, and then these brushes, and we're going to get going on this. Um, I plan on doing the stamps all over it kind of in a random pattern, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I think Miss Q's on here. Queen Allen, are you on here, darling? Thanks, Kathy. Okay, Shannon. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you just never know, right? You sound great to me? Okay. I'm going to plug in my charger so we don't go wrong with that. I know I'm a little bit bright. Refined is... Oh, okay. Gotcha, sis. Let's turn that down just a little bit. Okay, so I see this glare here. I apologize for that, but it's because this armoire is so tall that you're just seeing my ring light that is supposed to make me look 10 years younger. Thank you very much, Amazon, for that. Um, Q, are you there, sister? I cannot wait to try these things, this little dusty brush. Um, I'm going to pin my affiliate link here for those of you that are interested in trying out the new Paint Pixie brushes. Also, um, I know, Josie, you got one too. I think Q got one too. Um, and Anissa, Anissa, are you here? I know you got one of my with the new light too. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the new brushes, I'm wait, seeing a cue's on a cue break, but I haven't seen her too. I haven't seen her yet. So see all this? We're going to talk about it. Um, ask any questions. Oh, there she is. If you have any, and Josie will be answering your questions about Paint Pixie. I just plugged in my affiliate link there. Um, and let's see what Miss Q is up to tonight. Sister. Message. Right, sis. Ah, okay, where am I? Where am I? Where wait, where's my okay. See, where I set you? all this junk up. I'm here. I just set all this up and then every single time you can't <laughs> see. Yeah, you got it, it. It just adjusts itself. So, okay, let me get back here. Let me see. Hi, pretty. You look nice. Like a red top. You're wearing red tonight, and I'm wearing blue. I know. You look beautiful. No, I can't, but I can't see. I don't like it. Hold on. Forgive me because I don't like how far away it is. It's weird. Okay, I'm new. Just, just be bear with me. Okay. All right, I'm bearing with you, sissy. Hey, can I just ask you right up front? I've got to know right now. Can you please tell me whether Betty got off of her summer vacation? Uh, yes, Betty's here. She's here. Betty's here. Okay, that's, I home. think that's good. Is that better? I see Is this you. better? I see you, honey. You look beautiful. I remember when you bought that top. I was with you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't usually wear tops like this, but you know, it's a Dion night. So I'm going to throw on some embroidery and embroidery. some pink, some embroidery and some pink. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, right. Betty here, do you, huh? Hang on a minute. Hang on. We've got something very important. Apparently I don't have a nose. Ladies, do I have a nose? Because I yeah. had my, I have the light up so high. That it's a little was, bright. It was washing out my face. Now, is my nose back, ladies? I turned it way down. And the only reason I have it up is because it needs to be up higher here on Instagram. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to get rid of something. Okay. Thank you, Joni. If I go like this, you can definitely see my nose because you can see up my nostrils. No, it's really bright up there. Up my nose? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's that light that's in there. It's that light. Well, I can see like in your brain when you do that. Yeah, right. That light's so good. I think I got my nose back. Nancy Lynn says I got my nose back. Yeah, I'm going to try not to be really loud. I'm really doing my best. Hey, I got a question. Okay, so Betty's back and you were on a live three times today painting those hats. And I bought one. Four, four times. Four times. 
Yes, because one of my sweet friends asked me if I really painted it or if it was a stencil. So I came back on to show them that I really painted each one of them. So, you know, I got, I, they're, they're, ro they're like ready to roll. Like, they're ready. Oh, that's the one I bought. I bought the red yeah. one. They're ready to roll. We got camo. We got red. And we got bluish black denim. Okay? And that's okay. what I've been playing with today. But, yes, I paint them all by hand. Honey, they look beautiful. They look absolutely beautiful. Okay, everybody's telling me to turn my light off, but I'm not going to turn it off. So, do you have a do you have a dimmer? Yeah, I've dimmed it almost. It's almost all the way off, and I didn't have enough. Oh. I didn't Lord, have it's so hot listen, in here we tonight. Have, we have um, we have so much that we've got to do and get started. Um, so. Do you want to start painting first, or would you like to tell us about Betty and her summer vacation first? Let's just talk about Betty real quick, and we'll get that off the plate. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and dedicate this Betty to, to you. And this is for a piece that you did that was inspired by Jimmy Martin. So, Martin. It's free to be. It's free to be. Yes. So this was, you You were inspired by Jimmy Martin to paint your makeup desk. Um, and I was inspired because, you know, Betty's been in Austin. There's a lot of graffiti in Austin. There's a lot of murals in Austin. A lot of beautiful artists that like to paint up on walls where they're not supposed to. And so in honor of this, here is Betty goes to Austin, keeping it weird. Austin. We're on a cue break. We're going to walk away and grab Betty goes to Austin. She came home from summer vacation. I think she's been gone like 10 weeks. Oh, and she's been graffitiing all over Austin. Okay. So I don't know what you're going to be able to see. So see here says B Betty <laughs> all the way down. And then that's Betty hanging out in Austin with all the great streets and roads and She's yeah. gorgeous. I'm sorry, there's She's... kind of a glare on it, but it's kind of cool. It is I know, cool. it's hard to see. So see, it says, be Betty. It says, be Betty. Betty. And no, love. That's Betty in Austin. I'll get a better picture of it for you guys tomorrow. I love it. Seriously. I love I think Betty. It's... It's kind of cute, and she's been gone a while, so. Well, um, I love her so much. Some people are saying that that's she their has... favorite one. Oh, and she's been painting the town, and I'm sorry there's such a glare, but I have a new, I have a new light, so there's better. I'm yelling. Why am I yelling? I'm trying not to yell at you. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I have people on Instagram wondering what in the world I'm doing because they can't see you. But I have my Instagram live on. Oh. Betty does Austin, 6th Street all the way. <laughs> okay, so what color are we painting with first? I'll show them what I'm doing. And okay, I'm doing a revamp. So, so everybody don't panic. I'm just doing It's for a um, staging prop or I might sell it. I don't know. So I have this picture frame that I have wood in and I've already done a painting on it. I used to sell these a lot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this picture frame is I'm gonna revamp it with you tonight with the colors and then I'm gonna use the stamps too okay. the, that we got from IOD. Okay. So I'm gonna use the farm animals. Oh, cute. I don't have yeah, those. So I'm gonna use farm animals and then I'm gonna use some letters, okay? Okay. So that's my plan. Okay, my plan is I'm going to work on this wardrobe, and I'm actually going to use five different colors, and a product, actually a color I've never used before, is prairie gray. Have you ever used prairie from DIY? Yes. yes. I did. I actually used it on a live today when I was, I was piddling around with my hats trying to, and really I was only, I think I was just talking and then I randomly said, you know what? I have this vase, and so I'm going to start painting it prairie gray and kissing booth. And I'm, 
I'm going to do a project with this little funny vase. It looks terrible right now, so it's in a bad-looking stage. <laughs> well, it can be its best all the time, but I'm going to use this huge wardrobe, and I'm going to use Farm Fresh Mint Chip. Oh, oh. Oh. And this is a prairie gray. I mean, I haven't even opened it because I've never, ever once used it, you guys. It's like a brown taupey gray. You will like but I'm going to incorporate yeah. it, and I'm going to rock it because I'm a little insecure about it, but I'm determined that if I buy pair anything with Farm Fresh, it's, like, that good. So, yes. skeleton, skeleton Key, I know how much you love Skeleton Key. We're going to use Skeleton Key. I do love Skeleton Key. And Sandy Blonde. Okay, great. So, you're doing super neutral, right? I am. And then I'm going to add... All of these things are like falling on the floor all over me. And then I'm going to use IOD, the Iron Orchid Design. And this is this is actually called the Floral Swag. Um, but I'm going to use a lot of the birds. And I'm going to randomly put them up the top and then just kind of let them fade down. And I'm going to let the color fade up. Does that make sense? Or did I make you all want Yes, I think it's going to look stunning. And yeah, it makes sense. Oh, my hair. Can I just ever come on here and not touch my hair, but it starts curling up like crazy. Well, honey, okay, I'm just you just need to let it be curly then. Well, I know, but it feels like it's smashed and stuck to my head. Well, you look fabulous. Okay, so what color what color are you planning on using to stamp to put on your stamp? I'm using these five. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. And I want to know. Um, I want to know exactly what words and what animals they want me to put on this. What so that's, words? I'd like to do that. What words and animals? I think you should put a bunny on it saying hip hop hooray. I need a what? You need a bunny on it saying hip hop hooray. Hip hop hooray. Ho. Hip -hop hooray. Hey. Oh, put the bunny on it. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. It. On. okay, so I guess I'm going to start. Are you starting with the base color? Everybody wants the rabbit. Nice. So oh, are rabbits like, are rabbits like in? Everybody gets a rabbit. Hello. Bunny hopping. Okay, so I don't know what this is for other than blending, oh. but I noticed earlier when I was touching up my makeup that I really I used like it for blush. Yeah. I just, like, <laughs> listen. I dusted myself off. <laughs> <laughs> you got this all dusted. So I can get ready tonight. Yes, so, this is like dusting. It's a great dusting. Of, yeah, this is one of the newest brushes by Paint Pixie. Um, Q and I are going to give it a shot tonight. It's nicknamed Dusty. So when you're on the website, be sure you look for Dusty. I don't remember what it retails for, but we do have um, four new products. And the the little, um, the little, Frenchy, Frenchy is retails for $16. So I know the prices start at $16. Um, but if you aren't sure what to do with it after this, you can just do this with your makeup. Oh, it might help. Yeah, I don't think it's working for yeah. this job. Or, or this works because it's steamy out here. They can do this too, Q. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not so much. This retails for $23. The specialty is for blending. And I really, really, really think um, I'm going to start with one base color. And then I'm going to add my second. And I'm going to use this one for the blending. Um, Q, they said you snorted. I know. I know. And they said that I look pretty tonight. Thank you so much. You're fabulous or something. I didn't say thank you. I didn't want to interrupt you. So that's, that's so right, sweet. Dear. Thank you. That's all right. So nobody has told me what color I should start with. But I think what I want to do... Um, I'm going to put, I think I'm going to start with my light color on the bottom and then work okay. towards the top. Um, and I'm going to use this little dusty retails for $23, um, for a little contouring and wiping okay. sweat. Well, I have actually mentioned to Josie today when she was watching my live about this one. Yep. And this is their new waxing brush, and it has a name. Lil C. Does it? Lil oh, C. Oh, Lil C. It's Wait a minute. I didn't get a little Q. What's happening here? It's little C, not D. Oh, I thought you said D. 
<laughs> What's the C stand for? Chubby. Oh, Chubby. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. All right. Well, I it's thought you already got a turquoise Irish brush. I was getting jealous. No, I do have one of those. I do. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. This one's the Dion. The synthetic one? This? Turn around. Turn around. Why? Because so you're going to say something ugly? You got to look at Betty behind you. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just kidding. It's not named Dion. However, it is a synthetic. Um, and Debbie says it's called Little Debbie, uh, which is really a cute name. They're actually called a Little Debbie. Um, it's like a cookie. But it's we're a sweet using cookie. All of these brushes, and we really, really want to, um, to to talk about some of our new brushes because Pink Pixie has grown so quickly that they've already expanded from four to eight brushes in like nine months. That's insanity right there. So anyway, we're going to start with the dusty tonight, and I'm going to grab Sandy Blonde and start from the top and work my way way up. And um, okay, well, I'm gonna. I guess I'll tilt my camera a little bit so people can see what I'm doing or prop this up somehow. So I am going to paint the whole thing. Okay, and what color did you say you're using, sis? I think I am going to start with crinoline. So I'm going to start with the white. Okay, awesome. I know everybody is, is about to have a heart attack this week because I painted something white. <laughs> I know. You did a big white piece. I did a big white piece. I, I tell everybody this. I'll do two very special pieces in white, one a year, because last year I did a white one, and then this year I've done that white one. It was 10 feet wide, so it was the biggest piece I've ever painted, and um, painting it white was a lot of fun, because I got to paint it the Q way, my way, whatever you want to call it. So I got to do that. But yeah, it was white. But I am so partial to the other Omar that I did, you know, because of the color. Oh, and sure. um, I'm, sure. I just want to say thank you to everybody that follows us. Y'all are so sweet to us. And you just, you just like the best, as I like to say, my tribe, because you just follow us and, and support us. And I'm just grateful. You know, for every time you take a moment to like it or share it or love it or buy it, it just, it means so much to us. Oh, 100%. And it makes us go, now, how did this happen? Like, you know, the people are so nice. You know, I hear a lot of people, you know, bad reviews and stuff. And people really are just so nice and I just feel like something like this when we're painting and we're playing and we're being silly it really kind of brings out the best in people um yeah and it makes them feel good and but it makes us feel even better you know what I mean and oh they're saying yeah. you're embarrassing them <laughs> <laughs> what they said what they say you're embarrassing them Oh, gosh. But anyway, I really am so grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. You make what we do even better. So I'm going to start with crinoline. And I told Josie that I was going to use um, the wax brush. This is intended to be a wax brush. But yeah. she said to use it the way we want to. So okay. Queen is using it as a brush. Go so I'm painting it. with it. Go for it. Yeah. So you're not doing so I'm using it for crinoline. Wax. If you guys don't know what that is, that's the creamy white uh, Debbie's DIY paint. And we are both retailers. So there you that's go. But I'm painting. That, let me, that's, what? Actually, that's the color I love to use for my flowers. When I paint my hand painted flowers, crinoline is my go to every single time. Yes. Yes. And if you guys have not seen one of the best lives that her and I have done together, you got to go see where I blindfolded the girl because that was the best live, I think, to date. And it was the very first live, and I feel blessed, that Dion, after all these lives that she's done, has actually sat down and watched the entire live. She doesn't rewatch them. And I came back. That's the kicker is that I actually came back and decided to do it because I never watch. It's fun. the fun. 
good. Okay, I forgot to turn off my uh, notifications. One second. Okay, so I'm painting and I'm gonna tilt my, um, I'm gonna tilt. I'm using mint chip, by the way. This is mint chip. And then I'm gonna grab my dusty brush for blending and I'm going to grab Farm Fresh. So I'm gonna put Farm Fresh right up here next to the mint chip. At least that's my plan. Okay. I'm gonna need to grab um, a little bit of water because of this weather and this heat, the paint is already dry. So see where, I, I wanna see where I'm at with you guys because I'm trying to figure all this out. Okay, so I'm painting over this. Don't know, no one panic. It's just paint. It's just paint. Painting over the love? I'm painting over the love. It was just something I used to do. I used it in um, staging. I used to sell a lot of them on traveling shows and stuff. Yeah. Um, they were just really popular. But, you know, it's just some stuff that sits around my studio. I've been doing a, smir a purge. Um, since my order left here this week, I have a little bit of space. So I'm trying to get rid of some stuff that I don't really need or, or redesign it. So that's what we're doing. Oh my gosh, I like the way this paints, you guys. Oh my heaven. I love the way it feels in my hand. It's amazing. Okay, so I am very quickly just going to paint my white because it's going to dry. Really, it's already, I can feel it pulling. It's already drying because it is so hot. And if, and if my paint starts drying too much, um, I will get a little water. And that's what you do too, right? Yeah, I've got my water because my paint's drying really fast. So I grabbed, um, I grabbed the, blend, uh, the uh, Dusty, and I'm looking at Farm Fresh and Mint Chip and blending them together. Yeah, Josie, you made this for me, but you didn't know you made this for this purpose, but we're going to test it out tonight. I am using it to paint with. I paint, I approximately work on about eight pieces a week. And so as I'm working on eight pieces a week, you know, I'm rotating those. It's not like I get them all done. I mean, people ask me that all the time is if I'm getting them all done. But no, I work on them in, in just stages. So it kind of helps my hand if it's something comfortable. This is comfortable. And Dion, is y'all, you guys, when we go on live, I noticed somebody was saying something about the volume, Dion. You guys, when we go on live, for some reason, it turns the person who's the main, like, administrator of the live, it turns their volume down. I'm not really sure why. So No, it's not really yes. that fair either, to be honest with you. No, it's not. Because you don't have a voice. I need my side lower because I have a voice that carries like crazy. Um, you guys, did that? Did I get louder just then? I I tried something different. Can you hear me any better now, Q? I hear you fine, sweetie. But I think somebody else felt like you were loud. Just explaining it. So, yeah. Because I just didn't want them, you know, you you are were you were painting, so I just want to explain to them that it goes low whenever we come on together. Okay. Well, I'm and I don't to mean to be. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be louder than you. I try not to be, but it's hard. <laughs> I'm already loud now. Okay. Well, I thought that was going to work out for me, and I even took my phone case off. Um, the two colors that I used, Jasmine. I started um, with mint chip. Oh, okay. I started with mint chip. And then um, I'm adding farm fresh. And then I've also got prairie gray, sandy blonde, and um, oh, skeleton key. And so I'm yeah. pretty pumped. I'm actually really pumped to be using that prairie gray because I think with the farm fresh and everything, it's going to look really good. And I may actually add a white um, wax. Okay. Thank oh, you that'll guys. be pretty. Thanks for letting me know you can hear me. I'm going to turn my phone just a little bit. And for all of you, I would love, love, love if you would share this because I will be giving away two 
cans of free paint next week. I'm going to show you. I've got mermaid tail. I've got these for you guys, mermaid tail and weathered wood. And um, I will draw somebody to um, win both of these. It's a $26 value. This is DIY paint, which is um, a clay-based paint that I use exclusively because it's fabulous. And I just, um, I'm pretty well addicted to the DIY paint. Also, once I get going on this arm wall, I'm going to actually use the IOD stamps from Iron Orchid, and I'm going to use this bird, and I'm going to use some of these vines and trickle them down from the top and have some of them kind of falling, um, you know, like randomly falling. That's my design plan for it. Um, so I'm hoping I can get that done this week. I appreciate your shares. You make me super happy. Um, Tina says she wants to win. Oh, I hope you do, Tina. Um, I hope you do. I think she'll notice how close I really am. Hi, Q. <laughs> I'm working on this side of the frame right at the moment. Hello, darling. You look so good close up in person, though. <laughs> I was like, do you think she'll notice I'm a little close to the screen? Okay, I want to, I want, I feel weird just y'all looking at my hands. Why? But look, it stand, look here, it stands up. Look at this brush, it just stands there while I'm waiting to paint. Okay, I'm probably going to start painting with these. So I'm going to have to order me a whole bunch. What are you going to, oh. Look how it stands up, my by itself while you're waiting. Okay, I'm just going to go, and I'm going to paint this corner, and maybe you guys can see my face. Because I know you want to see my face, right? Oh, they still can't see my face unless I've been way down here. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so where am I at? I'm here. Okay, so I've got the crinoline on. This is the, oh, this is the first time somebody's watched us. Should we explain what we're doing, Dion, for somebody that's never watched? Us oh, do a lot. Absolutely. They're sitting here thinking, what's going on? So if this is your first time coming yeah. on here, uh, my name is Dion Woods with the Turquoise Iris, and she is Tweed Allen with All Shabbed Out. And we come on here. I'll be right back around the corner. Uh, she's taking cue break. Hashtag cue break. Um, Hashtag cue break. She does it often. This is, um, we're using some new paint brushes by Paint Pixie, and um, we're just kind of, well, we usually always are painting. Sometimes we're painting on canvas. Sometimes we're painting on furniture. And she's actually painting with a sign tonight. So we do, um, we use DIY paint. And um, Josie's telling us tonight that she's going to donate a little seat for our giveaway. And she's going to also donate a Dusty for the giveaway. And I'm giving away two jars of free DIY paint. All you have to do is share this video, you guys. Oh, my not. gosh. Well, I have, wait, I have to give something away. Well, why don't you? Late to the show. Well, why don't I? How about I give away, I can give away a camo hat. You've got a camo hat. You don't have to give away that something that big. Yeah, I'll give it away. I can't be left out. I will be sad. Okay, well. <laughs> Q's now, this is pretty awesome, you guys, because now Q's going to give away one of her hand-painted hats. Camo. We need 200, we need 200 shares. Two 200. Oh, Lord. 200 Lord. shares. We can do it. You know, that's just like you. You're always going, go big or go home. Go big or go home. Go big or go home, says Kawita. What? Dion. <laughs> I said I, says Kawita. Sorry Kawita. I'm saying your name that way. Where's You're my paint? I lost my paint. Oh. Lost my paint. I'm using Farm Fresh. This is mint chip and all those hearts and shares are making me so happy right now. I appreciate you guys. Well, I need, I need black. So I need, I got to figure out what I'm doing here. I'm a little lost in this whole method. I'm lost. So I like this because it's, this one's short too. And I'm not, this is the very first time 
I have brushed with a short brush like this. And you know how you're using the short paint brush? This is different. Yeah. It's different. And I'm wondering, um, I don't know what it I'm might wondering. Be, it might be good for people who have arthritis. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could be very ergonomic. Ooh, fancy word. I like it. <laughs> I know, it's a fancy, this is the strangest way to paint I've ever painted in my life. <laughs> because you're reaching around, but you are so Yeah, and talented. I'm trying not to get it on my cute shirt. Super talented, young lady. Okay, I need to do some blending, but I need other shorthanders about, well, I don't think they're about ergonomics. I don't really know, Miss Josie is on here she is the um, owner and designer of the paintbrushes for paint pixie and honestly you guys ask her questions right now or yeah or paintpixie.com she'll answer those questions i don't have the answer and i'm sorry what's oh, the this question isn't i probably i probably know the answer what's the question you just ask if they were ergon ergonomically designed is that or were they designed to be ergonomically correct Am I saying that right? Are they making fun of me? I don't think so, honey. I think you said it right. And what I would say is they are made in Italy. Yes. And the ones on the short handles are definitely ergonomically correct. Okay. I like them. I mean, this is the first day that I've used them. I've been showing them off for about a week, but it's the first day that I've really got to use these. So, you know what? I don't, let me do some blending with, I guess, some kissing booth. I'm going to do that on here and see what happens. Okay, awesome. I'm loving this little combination I've got going on here. I don't know if you guys can see this skeleton key. I've added skeleton key up above the farm fresh. Of course, the farm fresh is still wet, but I want to tilt it up just a smidge so you can see this. So this is skeleton key, farm fresh, and then this one down here is mint chip. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and slap on some paint. This is Kiss and Booth. It's the um, fuchsia color from DIY Paints. I feel like we're doing, I was on, on live a while ago, and I was saying there's only this many because the red hats are almost sold out. So I was saying, oh, there's this many hats, and they're going to sell out fast, and hurry up and away. I sound like a QVC commercial. <laughs> I was like, go and twice. Let's go. Go and twice. Let's go. You see the clock on go. one minute left. Only one minute. Go, go, go. And so, hey, did you hear my good news that I get to do next week? Yeah, only one minute. Hi. Okay, so I'm going to take some French Miller. I'm sorry, baby. Did you say something? Yes, sweetheart. I asked you a question. I'm sorry. That's okay. You were taking a break. Did you hear that? who I get to meet next week? That what? Did you hear who I get to meet next week? No. Do you know who Crystal and Huff is with Ray Emporium? in Kansas City? Yes. yes. I get to meet her. She's coming to Reclaim oh, wow. Warehouse. Uh -huh. She's coming to Reclaim Warehouse on Thursday, and we have something very special planned. I, uh, did, okay, hold on. You broke up. Okay, say that. Say that the motorcycle gang is going by. It's time for them to go by this evening. Okay, say that one more time while I'm closer. Well, now that I'm saying it four times, it does. It's kind of lost its impact. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't hear me, honey. I'm so sorry. What I said was, Crystalyn is coming to Reclaimed Warehouse, and we're doing yes. something together that I can't mention, but it's going to be fun. It's exciting, and oh. I'm just excited to meet her. Oh, well, awesome. That's great. Exciting. Oh, my gosh. Can't wait. Well, so... That's what I said was, did you hear? But now that yeah. I've said it four times, I'm kind of like, I've heard it four times now. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, Thank I'm you sorry. for telling me. I'm excited for you. And thanks for repeating it. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Okay, so the fourth color that I'm going to grab is the sandy blonde, and I'm going to put that at the very bottom, but I'm going to need to re-wet, um, or not re-wet. I'm going to need to wet because I did this mint chip first, and I want to really work the sandy blonde and the mint chip in together, and then at the very top, I'm going to do my darkest color, which is that prairie gray, which I um, is the very first time I'm going to use that one. And then um, we got to sit back and let it dry and do its thing. Thank you for the shares. For those of you, um, you get automatically entered into the contest for two colors of paint. One of um, one of Miss Q's fancy hand-painted hats that she's working on. And then Paint Pixie's going to donate a dusty paintbrush, which is not a dusty as in it's not dirty. Trust me. It's fabulous. It's this paintbrush, which is one of their newest that they debuted this week. Um, and then also the little C, which is what he was using. She's going to donate that too to one of you guys. Holy schmoly. Okay, now I'm going to tilt it down. We're going to go down here to the bottom. All right, we're going to work down on the bottom. Well, I'm using the prairie gray now in the next layer. So, oh, you want to hold this up? Yeah, so there's kind of where I'm going with it. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I don't know. I think I think you do know. I think you do know. No, I really, truly do not know. I randomly grabbed all this stuff because I didn't have a chance to really set up because I'm trying to purge my studio. And so I'm really focusing and trying to stay focused. Of course, I got distracted by painting a new hat design today. But besides that. <laughs> so are you saying you woke up this morning and did not do plan to design a hat today? No. Ooh, that was well, I've been wanting thought. to design the Indian headdress because that's what I do. That's, you know, you paint the vases and the flowers and the barns. And I, I am the Indian headdress kind of girl. I like to blend my Indian headdresses in with my abstract art and so that's kind of what I, you know, like to do. So that's what, this is what I'm working on right now. I'm going to lay this down a little bit to blend a little bit better because I'm going to stick my arm in this paint and I'm going to be really mad. They said I don't have very many clothes that don't have paint on them. They said that your, um, your board looks like Napolitan ice cream. Did I say that right? I know it does, and I need I need some farm fresh because I think that would like or mint chip, and that would just take it to the next level, right? Yes, summer and ice cream. I love it. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so I don't know what to do next. I'm so lost tonight. I don't want to be lost. It's like I don't. My brain is not calculated. Well, in case some of the people missed it, I would love for you to show Betty again and make sure everyone knows that she's back from her summer vacation. Well, you know, we got those new people. Do we want to talk about Betty to the new people? Of course, go for it. Tell tell how tell how we found Betty and how she showed up on your doorstep. Okay, everybody, let's talk about Betty and let's talk about how Betty was born. Because I'm going to let this dry while it does that because I really want to use one of those stamper thingies tonight. So let's, let's let that dry a second. My Neapolitan thing. Okay, so let's talk about Betty and why in the world is a grown woman and, and an artist, as I, I do call myself. <laughs> as you so, should. Thank you. So, and oh, let's go back. December. December. Dion, we start painting in December together, baby. December eighth, we started Lucy and Ethel. That's our that's our online birthday. So on December the eighth, Dion and I got together. We did not know each other um, at all. We admired. Well, I don't even know if she knew who I was, which is fine because she's a superstar. And <laughs> and um, I admired her work from the moment that I started working in, in this business. Um, and in awe of her, of course. And she was like the she was like the ungettable, get can't figure her out artist. You know that? Oh my God, how did she do that kind of girl? 
So I was in awe of her, and she was a superstar of me. So Dion contacted me in December, and she has a, a, a private group that she coaches um, people in the paint business, and she teaches and coaches and supports and loves all these people in this group, okay? So it's a private group, Turquoise, I Iris. Can I do love them. I know. I her, this is her connection, her paint connection, her folks, her people. And so Dion called me, and of course I'm in awe, and she's like, hey, would you come on and do an interview on my private group page? And I'm like, what? An interview? What are you talking? No. I'm shy. I'm not, I'm not doing that. No. Do I have to be on camera? And I misunderstood her to tell me that, no, you don't have to be on camera. It's just going to be voiced. You're just going to listen to you. That's what I heard in my head, but I don't think that was correct. So I'm downtown. I look like a ragamuffin, and Dion puts me on the camera. So I'm no. on the camera. No. No. Wait. That's not what happened, and you know it. <laughs> I pushed Kawita Allen come on to the camera, and... I'm still a little embarrassed by it. Hugh, Hugh was like this. <laughs> And I made I'm it like, even go look at and I'm like, uh -huh. Quita Allen, Quita, um, Quita. And you're like, yeah, I'm here. And then <laughs> she turned the camera to the floor. So I saw her shoes and the floor. Uh huh. She didn't realize yes. she was and so, to show her face. So I got on reluctantly and I told my story to this wonderful group of people who are very, very supportive and loving and made me feel a little bit of comfort, okay? I was scared, and um, I'm still scared. I get really nervous coming on these lives, but I'm more comfortable because Dion and I have built an amazing friendship that it's just, it's undeniable. We can't not be friends forever. So when, we, she, when she called me, she says, well, do you want to go on the big page? Big page of like 28,000 people. I'm like, what? I said, okay, I have ADD. Sweetie, we got to be doing something on this. Can we paint together? She's like, what? Paint together? Well, I don't know. And so we got into this whole conversation, and she agreed, and then... We did the first live. I was a nervous wreck. The live is on YouTube. I'm scared to death. I'm, she's teaching me how to paint. I am so, I'm concentrating so diligently on every detail she tells me. I'm trying to make it look like what she's telling me to do. I did. Every step she did, our pieces look completely different. Right? Completely, so Dion, different. completely different. Here's Dion's, Dion's personality, if you guys don't know. Dion's personality. Reality is she is structured. Careful. What? Careful. No. She's structured. She is focused. She has a plan. She has this great sense of humor that's sometimes hidden behind the plan and just needs to be drawn out by somebody like me <laughs> or Matt. I mean, really. So I am blessed to have my friend who allows me to come on here. And she's a little fearful, I think, because of not knowing who I was. But she took it on. I never she met didn't you. have any fear. No, she'd never met me. She took it on. And it was a amazing instant chemistry with us and we have painted and had some of the best times of my paint career ever and i am blessed that you let me come on here so betty one night was a joke hey, so i'm gonna wake teach up. Dion. okay back up so someone just said add and ocd the 21st century modern day lucy and ethel hysterical so I will remind you that the very first time I talked to you on the phone when we were talking about this, do you remember what you were doing? Probably not. You couldn't figure out how to start your car. Oh, yeah, I was in a rental. It you was fancy. It was one of those navigators. A 
it was a fancy navigator and you could not figure out how to start the car. And I'm in Hobby Lobby talking to you and you are screaming and cackling and laughing and going, Dion, I don't know how to start the car. And I'm like, who is this? What is she doing? <laughs> how is this nut bag? I'm like, I don't know how to help you from Oklahoma. But you stayed on the phone with me and we talked for 45 minutes and we had a, we have a wonderful chemistry that it's just, it's my, one of my favorite friendships that I've ever been lucky enough to have. So Betty was a joke. I'm going to teach her how to canvas paint abstract. Okay. That's not really, I mean, I'm showing her where that's what we're planning on doing. That's our plan. But I needed something to show. Yes. So I needed something to pump that up a little bit. And so like, 30 minutes before, I came up with this baddie, okay, and she's just a stick figure. She's a girl, and that's it. I put, I put her up there. Your face was wonderful. You just really reacted to her. Betty became a fad. She has bags and hats and t-shirts and everything, and she has many paintings. She's been many places. Now, Betty's been away for a while, so here is Betty, and that's the story of why I paint a whimsical art series named Betty, and this is why. And this is because of Dionne Woods, the turquoise iris, my friend, has allowed me to do this crazy little Betty girl and all her little adventures, and it's been a lot of fun. So I really like you and Betty. I know, and everybody loves your Bettys, and for weeks they've been asking to see Betty this summer, and we told her, you told them Betty was gone on vacation, summer vacation, so um, it's been fun watching Betty go to all the places, and um, you're the perfect person to have created such a fun Betty character. Um, I also, I wanted to do something fun tonight where we added a little bit of a Q&A segment towards the end of this, Oh. And so... Um, if anybody has any question that maybe we've never answered, um, I know that we are totally silly, but please, we do actually know how to paint. And I know that is the whole premises for it, but we just get where we're like every Friday night. It's really fun to have you guys here with us. Um, and I just think, yeah, they're telling me that I need to create Betty a friend. And so, uh, and well, me. you made me a Betty one night. I did, and you weren't very nice about it. Oh, <gasps> I didn't. I loved it. I didn't say anything. I did not. We will rewind it, replay. I did not. I was never ungrateful. Never. Never. She still has it. <laughs> Betty also has a dog. It's a female dog named Kevin. Um, Betty's been to the beach. Betty's been to, oh my gosh, she's just been everywhere. She's been to Round Top, Texas. She's been all over. She is a, a fun little character, Dion Woods. Oh, well, here's Betty. Oh, and then there's, you can get custom Bettys. I do custom Bettys all the time. I've done custom Bettys with people's puppies. I've done amazing Betty's where their puppy has maybe passed on and so we did Betty walking she walks Kevin and so Betty was walking Lucy and I've done a lot of really fun paintings with her I'm blessed thank you if y'all want custom Betty call me up custom Betty well I can't find the painting that I did for you celebrating our Aww. friendship I can't find it it's back here somewhere um yeah that was a d break but if anybody has a question we're here for Q&A. Yes. I just thought it might be fun for you guys to ask something, and we will actually try to read the comments, which is really hard. Um, DIY is not sold at Hobby Lobby. It's um, exclusive to the retailers throughout, throughout the U.S. and um, Canada, and we have about 270, 260 retailers. I may be over-exaggerating, not doing it on purpose, but I can't keep up because we're growing so rapidly. Um, but we are only exclusive. You can purchase it. Um, at one of the retailers across the U.S., Canada, and um, or you can use someone's affiliate link and order it. Aww. Everybody's saying that we're the best part of their week. That's so sweet, you guys. Thank you so much. That is so nice. That I'm going to go get some black paint. 
and wait on questions because I want to try to do a stamp. Oh, okay. oh, I got a question. I got a question. Oh. You come on down. Y'all the next person you, up. What is your favorite color? Oh, that's hard. Okay, my favorite personal color is purple. My favorite personal color is like eggplant purple. Honestly, my, we don't have a purple in the DIY line yet, but I love any tones of purple is my personal favorite. Now, DIY paint, my favorite, I have to say I have two favorites. One would be Bohemian Blue, and the other would be Kissing Booth. Obviously, Those are probably my, is number one. I know yours is. Yeah, number one. Yes, I love eggplant. I paint a lot. I have a piece actually coming up that I created that is purple. It's coming up, and I'm so excited. It's oh, oh I can't wait. I'm girl. happy about it. Yeah, I know. I can't wait till it's finished. Um, if you guys want to do purple and you're using DIY, you guys just mix a little bit of Hey Sailor with Kissing Booth. Or you can mix Bohemian Blue with a little Marquee. Like you can get a you can get a really beautiful plum. Uh, Debbie Beard actually has a YouTube video um, where she showed us how to make a plum mm -hmm. and a green. And um, we have a mixology video. Don't forget, we did mixology. Oh. Hey, my battery's done. I'm gonna go get black and my plug. Be right back. Cue break. Please do. Please do. Okay. Any more Kay. questions? Um, you guys. Any more questions that you might have for Q or I for Friday Night Live? Love when Q got her eyeshadow. Um, favorite turquoise color? So I'm a fan of the teal, which is, of course, the bohemian blue. But I love mermaid tail. I love sea glass. And a true, true, um, oh, thank you, Karen, honey. You're so nice. Um, a true like old Chevy, I just know the name. Ah, turquoise is the old Chevy from DIY. Um, so we have really, really great teals and turquoises. Um, the paint pixie brushes are on the market. Gloria Fields, that is what we were showing tonight, sister. Um, we have the little frenzy. It's about half the size of the original and it starts at $16 retail. Um, we have the synthetic which is right here. And what we were using tonight was the uh, Dusty. It's right here. And this is one of the newest ones. It retails for $23. And actually ordered that right there. And last but not least, this is your little C. And it's a shorter, considered a wax brush, but if you watch Q tonight, she's actually painting with it. You do you, whatever you want to do, you do you for whatever brush you want to do. And um, before I put paint on here, I was using it as a fan and a contour brush. So whatever you want to do, these are all available on the website right now. Uh, Gloria, I do too. And I really think that the price is even lower than what it should be. And um, Josie and Jerry have gone to Italy recently and they've come up with a new design. We have stencil brushes coming and several others that you will be able to look forward to um, towards the end of September, too. Okay, Q, baby, you got everything? I'm sorry. Yes, I do. Thank you for yakking. <laughs> no problem on a Q break. I'm so done here for you, sis. Okay, I'm ready. I think I'm Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I want to thank somebody real quick. Uh-oh. Sally... Sally and Josie of IOD, the IOD sisters, as everybody calls them, Iron Orchid Designs. I'm not a retailer. Um, she sent this to me as a gift, and I am grateful. I thank you. I will use them and love them and take care of them, and I'm just truly grateful, and I will create, hopefully, something you will love. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to put a bunny on there and call it Hip Hop Parade. Oh. Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm going to do the bunny first. I don't know what I'm doing. I probably should have watched the video. Honey, you always know what you're doing. You just act like it. 
No, let me rephrase that. You actually don't. What I meant was when you're painting, you know exactly what you're doing, sister. What? Yes, you do. When you're painting, you always know what yes, you're doing. Yes, yes. I think I do. Yeah. I think so. Does. Okay, so now I have a question. Because I've not used these yet. So do you cut it off of the paper? No. 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 So listen. Okay, here we go. It's the lesson listen. time, people. Go. Listen, you got two options. Okay. Okay. You don't cut them because they come off. If you if you work real hard, you get it off. It comes okay. off. And then it's literally a rubber stamp. However, mine are still on here because I'm afraid I'll lose them. I, okay, you know I don't need to cut it off then. Yeah, I think you should leave that on there right where it is, sister. Okay, so which side? Front the or the side. front on? Wait. Oh. Oh, I see. There's one big sheet. <laughs> I didn't know you still had the big sheet on there. Um, if you want to make a barn red, Chris, you absolutely grab marquee and a little bit of weathered wood or the um, layered chocolate, and you can make a really pretty barn red. Um, but no, listen, when you first open it, there's a layer over this. Um, yes, yes, girl, aced it. You aced that. And then that. you want to feel the kind of rough side, right? Yeah, you take the rough rubber side. Now, what I was saying is you can actually peel each stamp off of this back sheet. Okay. What are you uh -huh. doing? What are you doing? Well, I was going to try to move my cart closer, um, but that didn't work. I have a, there's a crack in the floor and the cart's heavy. Yeah. So I have a gray that I mixed up and I'm going to put this on the brayer that I have. Actually, I think this is a prairie gray. Okay. So I got one of these things. Okay. That's awesome. So then you just roll it on just the stamp you want to use. So you just roll it on that little bunny rabbit. Okay. That's I'm rolling. She's a hip hop beret. Do you remember who's saying sure that song? Are you sure this works? Well, you can use a roller. I used a brush. I used my paint okay. pixie. I used my paint pixie um, little Frenchie because it, it has a tip. And I, yes. was, I was able to get down in there on the stamp. Do I put a, pun, a bunch of bunnies or just one bunny? We're going to take it slow right now with just one. <laughs> But you know how All right. those bunnies reproduce, so you're probably going to need more than one. Yeah, bunnies. All right, so you I just press you down, right? You missed my joke. What was your joke? Just about them reproducing? It. Just forget it. Forget it. Fine, forget, forget it. it. Yeah, just, I would use your, Fine. Little, your little Frenchie, and you can get in there on those stencils really well. Okay, okay. You pressing gently, firmly, but gently. Yeah. Nice. What color is this again, Q? This is prairie gray. Prairie gray. And you used crinoline, kissing booth, prairie gray, and you put prairie gray on your bunny, right? Yeah, because so this prairie gray is kind of watered, uh, like uh, blended down with a little crinoline. So that's why it's lighter than that bunny. Naughty by nature. So we, yes. Thank you for And answering. so what bunny, what's the word, what am I writing on here? Hip hop, hooray, ho, hey, ho. Now. Okay, these letters ought to be interesting. Now, honey, that was just a joke. <laughs> I don't know what you're writing on there. What is your plan? Don't you have one? If I write anything on anything, it says love. That's all I ever write. Why don't you write Dion? Okay. Oh, bad idea again. That was a 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just, I think with the letters, though, I think I really need to cut them out. That's a lot of words. This is perfect for wiping my sweat off my cheeks, too. Oh my gosh, let's do that because I need to do that right too. Now my mustache. Right now my mustache. You got a dab. Yeah, you can dab really well on your own. Because I turned my fan off to plug in the phone so I don't lose you. Okay, so um, hop into fall and put a few leaves or a pumpkin. Hop into fall. Okay. So, and I know that this is going to, this will be up for sale because I know that you people what are, are you loving doing? this right now. Are you cutting it out? I am. I want my letters cut out. I don't want them on here. I'm going to put them in a jar. Are you so gonna, I don't lose. Are you really going to put them in a jar, Q? Yes, because I have a plan because I have something I want to do with these letters. So I was really excited to get the letters. Hip, hop, into fall. So I need an A, need an F. <laughs> well, if, if push comes to shove, I'm going with hip hop hooray. Oh, hey. When I thought we were doing hop into fall, who's buying this anyway? Who wants it? Come on. Come on, people. Hey, it's already, already done. It's ready. Hey. You already took my money today on that $40 hat. Well, I'm refunding your money, by the way. And I'm refunding. If Josie, you ordered one, I'm refunding yours, too. And that is only because I'm gifting it to my friends. I don't want your refund. I just want the hat. Rosie, you can definitely reuse the stamps forever and ever and ever, Rosie. You don't have they to wash them off. Away. They just wash off when you clean them better than what I did earlier when I used them. And um, I'm going to use on my arm wall, Prairie Gray, Skeleton Key, Farm Fresh, Mint Chip, and uh, Sandy Blonde. And then I'm going to use, oh, oh, even better, those IOD sisters. I can't wait to, to see them again. I met them last fall. And I get to meet Sally and Josie again. And look, this is what it's going to look like. The swag. Are you, are with you the bragging? Bird. What? Are you bragging? About what? Oh, oh. I'm going to meet them. I wasn't bragging. I was just talking. I'm playing. <laughs> Hop into. I in. I feel like I'm in school. Okay. So this is called the floral swag, and I'm going to put this on this armoire. And okay. so I will be using my little Frenchie. I was using the French tip, but now that I have this little daintier one from Paint Pixie, I'm just going to tap, 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 tap the color on there and then stamp it, sand it down a little bit, add a little wax, add a little shading probably add a little more paint. Um, <clears throat> this stamp is called the floral swag. And so again, this is what it looks like on the back um, of their display. I am going to do it a little bit differently though, because I kind of want them heavy at the top of my arm wall and then have them kind of falling down. Um, so it almost has a more organic and not perfect because you know, I just can't do perfect. Um, how's it going sister? Are you hopping in a hopping over there? I'm concentrating a lot. Well, that is bound to, to, to produce something pretty fabulous if you're concentrating. <laughs> it's bound to happen. It's bound to come out something good. <laughs> hey, can I borrow that top? Yes. Okay, good. Because I really liked it when you bought it here in Oklahoma. I did. I bought it from my friend. From my friend, Kristen Grandy, who owns, oh, Floney, she owns a Junk Hippie Road Show. Yeah. You guys, um, I've got a class next Saturday here in Oklahoma City. So if anybody's interested, um, we're going to 
try to recreate a finish that I did a couple of years ago. It's been one of my number one pinned items on Pinterest. And I thought, you know what, it's time to try to recreate that. So we're going to try to do that um, next Saturday in my in-person class at Reclaim Warehouse. There's still some seats available. Um, you can find out that at thechurkwithcyrus.com. And I think you has some online classes too going on, right, sis? Yes, I do. I have currently posted three online classes. Um, actually, two are ready to view. They've already been um, either recorded or done live. Those are still available just for a little bit longer. And then I have a live class, um, sweetie, on Sunday, August the 26th, live interactive class. So I'm right behind you. Okay. And then... Um... I've got two online classes on September 2nd and 9th. And you can find out all that information on our website, you guys, if you're interested in taking a class. Yeah, okay. I'm on so, Etsy. I don't, my, website, my website's being built currently, so that's taking a minute. These are really strong, by the way. They're thick, aren't they? Like, like they're, they're like really that is, durable. Yeah, they're really super thick, and they're just, they're great quality. And I've been dying to use these letters anyway, so I'm kind of excited about this. And I'm not really lining it up any certain way, you guys. I'm just eyeballing it and hope that it comes out really good. And then I really beautiful. want... Thanks. It's going to be beautiful, sister. I hope I, spe I hope I spell everything right. <laughs> yeah, do we need to go over the spelling? Maybe. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Uh, okay, does anybody else have poppity. any other questions for this Q&A segment before we pop off of here? Did um, you... Did you get it? Did you get a question? Um, I think I did, but I have forgotten what my question was. But I think I answered it. Okay. Um, I am excited to work on this wardrobe more during the week, and so I hopefully will be on here doing a live as well as YouTube. Um, we spent a lot of time talking about the new brushes that were offered by Paint Pixie. If you guys have any questions, message Q, message me, uh, message Josie. Um, we love you too, Josie. And uh, like we said, Paint Pixie has grown so quickly in the last nine months that Josie asked Q and I to, um, you know, use the new brushes and see what we think and give our honest opinion. And so we have found that even the little dusty can be used for so many different purposes. Um, Q used the little C, not just for a wax brush. She actually painted with it tonight on her um, sign there. And we will continue to use them over the next few weeks. So if you guys have any questions. Um, how long did you start painting, Dee? And when did you feel like you came into your now? Um, I have been um, painting furniture since 2010. And I think it probably took several years for me to really work through or kind of figure out what I liked to do the most. Um, Mason, I'm only done with this right now because I needed to see if this, I needed to uh, let this dry before I go any further with the second coat. Um, you're welcome, Kathy. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you showing up every Friday when you can um, and giving me the encouragement always. Q, can you show us what you have so far before we get off of here? Oh, certainly. Hold on one second. I'm almost done. Don't leave. Oh, give me, give me five more letters. Oh, wow. Five more letters. Wonderful. Five. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Can y'all even see what I'm doing? This, but I did do, like, the Sandy Blonde Mint Chip. This is Farm Fresh. And then up here is Skeleton Key. And I'm going to finish up there on the top with Prairie Gray, which is the very first time um, that I've ever used it. What was your first piece? And have you always painted with lots of color? Um, the actual first piece I painted was turquoise and green, two-toned. Matt added lights inside of it. Uh, like it, it had these cubbies where you could open them up. And I sold it on Etsy. My customer paid $3.50 to have it shipped to um, New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, wow. And you talk about a happy dance going on up in here. 
Wow, that's so cool. My first pieces was a chunky, rustic, white farmhouse uh, coffee table, oh, yeah? an end table, and I painted them white And because I didn't know any better. <laughs> well, sure, how big deal? I didn't know any better, and I didn't know... You know, and then the next piece that I paint was the one piece I was dying to paint. It was this really cute empire dresser, and I wanted to paint it red. I was dying to paint it red. I painted it red. We thought, oh, it's now, it's, you know, is it going to sell? We didn't know, and uh, it sold. And so then from that moment on, hooked on color. So I Absolutely. like color. It makes me happy. It makes me happy too. That's why I do it. I just think it's amazing. And one of the ladies was asking me to show my newest painting. And I will after we take a look at your hop into fall. Now, hop in, I'm going to put some leaves on it. Okay. Yeah. Let me, see what you, let me see what you got, sister. I know it's a little premature as far as snow, but I was really, really feeling this yesterday. And so okay. I did a little snowy cabin painting. Um, and oh. I actually, I received a lot of really good feedback. So um, it's kind of got a little bit of an abstract to it. Um, oh, that's beautiful, Dion. Oh my gosh, I love I that, love baby. blue color. And um, anyway, I love that. Karen, Karen said I should show it to everybody. So I'm just showing y'all what I worked on. Got that is amazing. Um, a, yeah, I've got a thing for cottages and cabins, and I don't know why. It's just always been there for me. Yeah, I mean, I that that is so amazing. So y'all like the bunny? Yes. I love the bunny. Absolutely love that bunny. There you go. I'm gonna I'll finish it up. Awesome. Well, any more questions? We're going to let you guys go. We're going to let you get back. It's time for cookies. And, um, yep, it's my little snowy cabin. She's got hop in the fall. I'm going to continue to work on this wardrobe over the next few days. Um, the color blue that I used on it, Chanel, was uh, the ultra marine acrylic. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Joan. Um, Q, thank you, honey, for joining me tonight. Thank you. I'm looking for you to... Um, bring me that shirt next time you see me, and I want, okay. I, I can't wait to get my painting too. I know I I have several gifts and things for you, so I will be seeing you soon. Okay. You know what? You can just ship me that shirt when you ship me my new ball cap. I uh, ship your shirt, your painting, your ball cap, a piece of paper that I owe you. <laughs> I mean, I have a list. I mean, it's just an excuse, really, just for me to get to, you know, hang out with you. So, if you want it bad enough, right, we get together. Yeah, I know. I know. You guys, thank you so much. And thanks, as usual, for the shares. Um, just one last time, you're going to be entered to win Mark, uh, excuse me, Mermaid Tail, Weathered Wood, Puita Allen has hand-painted these uh, caps. With her headdress. They're called My Tribe. My Tribe, oh, my tribe. Distress Chucker Hat. Camo, red, and black. I ordered red. This one's, and they're still in line for sale, but this camo is the gift. So the camo is going to be in the package, and then Josie with Paint Pixie, she and Jerry are going to also donate to the winner a dusty brush and a little C. And so big league you guys all you got to do is share and you're entered we appreciate you um next week we uh will have something very special for you once again anything else you got q i, I i'm out time for some ice water and and some some cool air it's time for a bath some dinner um a yes a bath and dinner all right thank you hon i appreciate you thank you i appreciate you too thank you so much all right, we'll talk to you soon, babe. Good night. All right, you guys, that was Kawita Allen of All Shabbed Out. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, 
I know it was a little weird when I first got started because I had my Instagram on too. I was just trying something new. Um, I didn't get as far as I would like on this piece, but it's because it's so large and standing up. I didn't get to finish the top, but we've got five colors. I'm going to redo the IOD stamps, use some wax. Um, hopefully, I'll be, you guys can catch me either on YouTube Live or Facebook Live. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the new Paint Pixie brushes, message Q, message me, uh, message straight to Paint Pixie, however you want to do it. We appreciate you all so much. Have an awesome night and be awesome. Have a great weekend.